Okay, so we're going to look at how path planning is calculated. And this planner could be used in a robot and it allows a machine to get from one place to another. Okay, and the, the idea of all of this is the world of where the robot is going to be running around. So is divided into little square blocks. And we could say that each of these square blocks is, for example, one meter by one meter square. So the whole world that the robot knows is split into one meter squared blocks. And the idea is that we need to solve a path to allow the robot to get from its starting position to its goal position. So this could be in a large room or it could be a room with walls. So let's put some obstacles in here representing walls. and some other obstacles, maybe a chair. And the plan is that the robot has to get from the starting position to the goal position. So let's make this quite hard for the robot. So let's say that the goal position is over here. Okay, so in the robot's memory, we have this five by five grid. This is the robot's world, and it really needs to get from its starting position down to the goal but which way does it go does it go this way obviously it's a dead end so we can see because we're quite clever that it needs to take a path like this but how do we do that well if you put the plan the map into the computer perhaps as an array of data and each of these squares can hold a number and what we'll do is we'll use a set of numbers to represent um, the way the path that the robot's going to take so let's say that one is our goal position. And let's say a high number, let's just put 255, it's a high number, is going to be an obstacle. Okay. And initially the array is filled with all zero values. It's initialized to zero values. Everything of this is zeros. And then what the planner does is it puts values in to uh, of the places that it knows. For example, the goal is position one. The obstacles are values two, five, five. Okay, so how does the robot follow this path and find its way to the goal? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do some path planning and we're going to put numbers in these empty zero squares. So what we do is with our planner we run a routine that looks for the number one. When it finds the number one, here we go, we look to the above position, to the right, below and to the left and we put the next higher number in than one. So above, the next higher number is two. To the right, okay that's off the screen so we don't bother worry about these two and to the left we've got a number two. And then what we do is we run a routine that looks for the number twos and adds the next higher number. So we find a two here, so we look above, so we put a three. The next number here, we find a three. And it only puts values in, I should have said, as long as it's a zero. So if it's a two, five, five, we don't put a value in. Okay, so everything that's zero, we need to fill up with a number. Then we look for the threes and put the next higher number in. So we've got four. Then we find, look for the fours and put the next higher number in, a five. We look for the fives, put the next higher number in, we've got six. Look for the sixes and everything that's neighboring, put the next higher number in, seven. Look for the sevens, put the next higher number in, eight. Look for the eights and put the next higher number in, we've got nine here and nine here. Look for the nines, we've got a 10 and a 10. Look for the tens, we've got an 11 uh, and an 11 there. Look for the 11s and we have 12, 12, look for the 12s, we've got 13. Okay, now to solve the path, all you do is you move into the square, which is a lower number or equal. So which way does this robot go? Does it go up to the right, down or to the left? Well, it goes up to the eight. It's at the eight, which way does it go? Not the, not the nine, it goes to the seven. It's at the seven, it goes to the next number, six, so at the six, it goes to the five. At the five, it goes to the four. Now at this point, it can either go this way to the three 
or this way to the 3. It doesn't really matter. It's just down to the algorithm which one it looks at. It's the same result. So let's go this way. 3 to the 2, 2 to the 1, and go. So if this is a robot, it needs to know how to get from one square. And it can either move up, down, left, right. And now it can find out which square it needs to go to.